Hi, welcome to our telehealth video information service on Garvin, and this video is on Azitar. So, what are Azitar used for? Azitar are drops for the eyes and are used for bacterial infections of the eye that are producing pus in the eye. So, for example, bacterial conjunctivitis. It's also used for trachomatous conjunctivitis caused by chlamydia. Trachomatis. How does azotar work? Azotar eye drops contain the active ingredient azitromycin, which is a type of a medicine called a macrolide antibiotic. Antibiotics are used to treat infections caused by bacteria. Azitromycin is a broad spectrum antibiotic that is active against a wide variety of bacteria that cause a wide variety of infections. <coughs> Azitromycin works by preventing bacteria from producing proteins that are essential to them. Without these proteins, the bacteria cannot grow, replicate, and increase in numbers. Azitromycin therefore stops the spread of infection, and remaining bacteria are killed by the body's immune system or eventually die. Azitar eye drops are administered into the eye to treat purulent or pus containing conjunctivitis and trachomatous conjunctivitis that is caused by a type of bacteria called chlamydia trachomatis. <coughs> Administering these drops directly into the eye allows the azitromycin to act locally on the bacteria that are causing the infection. So how do you use azotar drops? Azotar eye drops come in single dose units. There should be enough in each dose unit to treat both eyes if required. Once you have put the drops in, you should throw away the dose unit, even if there is some medicine left in it. Do not save it for later. One drop should be put into the affected eye twice a day, morning and evening for three days, or as directed by your doctor. Make sure you complete the course of treatment that your doctor has prescribed, even if your eye appears to be better. Stopping treatment early increases the chance that your symptoms will come back and that any bacteria will grow resistant to the antibiotic. Do not use for longer than three days, even if you still have signs of the infection. The drops have a prolonged action and will keep working after the three days course is finished. So seek medical advice immediately if your symptoms get worse at any point during treatment or if you think you have developed a new infection. If you forget a dose of Vasitor drops, apply the missed dose as soon as you remember, unless it is almost time for your next dose. In this case, leave out the missed dose and continue with the prescribed routine as usual. Do not use a double dose to make up for a missed dose. Vasitor should not be used in people who are allergic to macrolide antibiotics. This medicine should not be used if you're allergic to any of its ingredients. So tell your doctor or pharmacist if you've previously experienced an allergy. If you feel you've experienced an allergic reaction, stop using the medicine and inform your doctor or pharmacist immediately. So for pregnancy and breastfeeding. <coughs> Although the safety of this medicine during pregnancy has not been fully studied, the manufacturer states that it is not expected to have any harmful effects on a developing baby if used during pregnancy. Because the medicine is not significantly absorbed into the bloodstream after putting them into the eyes. Azitromycin passes into breast milk when taken by mouth, but the manufacturer states that the low dose in azotar and eye drops and the significant passage of the medicine into the bloodstream means that it is not expected to have any harmful effects on a nursing infant. If your doctor prescribes these drops while you're pregnant or breastfeeding, you can further minimize the amount of medicine that passes into your bloodstream by pressing on the tear duct while you put the eye drops into the eye for a few minutes. So the possible side effects of Azotar would be eye discomfort after putting in the drops, so itching, stingy and burning feeling. Also blurred vision, feeling of sticky eyes and sensation of something in the eye after putting in the drops. And uncommon side effects would be an eye allergy such as inflammation of the membrane covering the eyeball, inflammation of the surface of the eye and swelling redness or eczema of the eyelid and watery eyes. There is hypersensitivity reactions such as narrowing of the airways or bronchospasm, 
swelling of the lips, throat and tongue, severe skin reactions or anaphylactic shock. So the side effects I just mentioned does not include all the side effects reported by the manufacturer. For more on the possible side effects associated with this medicine, you need to read the information leaflet provided or talk to your doctor or pharmacist directly. How can azotor affect other medicines? If you're using more than one type of eye drop, you should administer them at least 15 minutes apart to prevent the second drop washing away the first. You should apply azotor eye drops last. Azotromycin eye drops and are likely or unlikely to be absorbed into the bloodstream in sufficient quantities to affect medicines that have been taken by mouth. <clears throat> However, you should tell your doctor or pharmacist if you're using any other medicine, including those bought without a prescription and herbal medicines before you start treatment with this medicine so they can check the combination is safe. So that brings this telehealth video to an end. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below or contact us through the website mytelehealth.info or call into us at Lynch's Pharmacy in Douglas and Cork or call 021 436 to find out more. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.